uh, just briefly the point and click for a straight over one way and over. Um, it's not terribly rocket science in its setup. So being a between subjects design, um, here you can see we've got a few variables. Um, depression scores in this instance are our DV, and then things like group will be our IV. And we've just broken up here, zero, one, and two, um, being, uh, you know, the, what is it, the control, CBT, and EBT. And that's really all you have to do to set it up. It's not, not crazy. Um, up to analyze, drop into GLM. Uh, you can do it via the one way, I only do both. So you can you can run through compare means and just say one way and over as well. Um, and you just put group in as your factor and depression as a dependent list. And then from there you can pick off the various options you want. So um, we always want descriptive statistics. We always want a fixed effects and homogeneity variance. Really we just, just need the homogeneity variance. The descriptives will just give us like the means and standard deviations, that kind of stuff. Um, from post talks, you would select anything that's relevant. So um, LSD, least square difference, means no adjustment, so we ignore that one. Um, most people will either pick a Bonferroni or a Shidak, sometimes a Sheaf. I'm not totally familiar with some of these other options, um, but again, it's one of those instances where you know you would let the research dictate which one you choose. So if you need to move beyond something like Shidak or Bonferroni, um, you would look up and Google whichever one of these is most appropriate, and then, and then use that and go from there. Um, if you run that, you'll get the usual output. But what we can do in the meantime, we run the GLM in the same way. You see it's basically identical, but the GLM allows for uh, more things. So when you want to do anything other than a one-way earnover, you have to use the GLM. So most people just jump straight to that command process. Um, so here you put depression in as your dependent variable. Again, group would go in as your fixed factor between subjects. Um, you can also enter various covariates if you're doing an ANCOVA. Um, but we'll come to that later. Same deal from options, descriptives. Uh, here we want effect size and observe power because those are really important, as we'll talk about later. Um, and homogeneity tests uh, for, oh, turn that off. Homogeneity tests again to get that Levine's, which is super important. Uh, from the post talks, we would want group as our option. Um, we probably could also do this one, do estimated marginal means, um, and just pick it from there for Shidak or for Bonferroni, just depending on what you prefer. Um, most people just do it in here. Uh, you can hit paste or OK just to look at the, the stuff. Um, you'll see between the two different approaches, you get almost identical kind of data. Um, well, you will get identical data. Uh, it might not look identical in the way it's set out, but it'll be the same stuff. So the descriptive statistics here in terms of the three groups, uh, number of people, the mean, standard deviation, all the usual gear. Um, Levine statistic here for the test of homogeneity of variances. Uh, oh, now don't be too worried if the video looks a little bit different to some of the pictures in the slides. This is a more recent version of SPSS, but you can see the same stuff here. So based on the mean, non-significant. They're all non-significant, um, so we won't worry about it. And over significant means there's a difference. That's what we were hoping for. Um, so you'd come down to the postdocs and you'd say, okay, where is that difference occurring? And then you just compare these ones, uh, just like we talk about in the slides. So there's a difference here between control and CBT, uh, but maybe not so much between control and EBT. If we look at the GLM approach, the data is set out a little bit differently, but you've got the same thing. So here are your descriptives, the means, standardizations, etc. Here's your Levines, here's your ANOVA, but this time we've got some information on things like partial leader squared for effect size and our observed power, which are important, and we'll talk about those in the lecture on effect size and power. Um, and then under the estimated marginal means, we can see the pairwise comparisons here. So again, control VCBT is a little difference. Control EBT is not so much. I mean, 0 0.054 versus 0 0.055 in the above data. So it's ever so slightly different by 0 0.001, um, but it's basically the same thing. So that's it. That's, that's how you run a uh, straightforward one-way ANOVA for a between-subjects design.